Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to sort charts and tables in Data Studio. We'll look at how to do that as a creator or editor in the edit mode for Data Studio and how you can sort charts and tables in the view mode as an end user or end viewer. I'm in the view mode for this Google Merchandise Store report. So if you see here, there's a couple tables down here and a couple charts that we'll use in our examples. So first we'll go to the edit mode at the top of the page here. And if you click on one of these tables, we can look at the settings. If we keep scrolling down the data settings, we'll come across two sections for sort. One is the primary sort and the other is the secondary sort. So right now, the primary sort is set to sort according to revenue in descending order. And you can see in this table here, there's a little down arrow indicating what type of sort it is for the revenue metric. You can also add a secondary sort. So for example, if we wanted to sort by e-commerce conversion rate, then we can do that. But this will only come into play if there are values for your primary sort metric which are the same. So for example if we had two channel source medium dimensions with the same revenue amount let's say 100k each then it would sort according to the e-commerce conversion rate. But since all these values are different the secondary source won't come into play. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And if we go on, we can look at another example with this table here. Just to show you what the sort actually does. Just so we can see the primary sort and the secondary sort in action, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on style and for the average quantity column, so that's the last column here, I'm going to change the auto precision to one. So that way we have some product categories that are more likely to have the same value and I'm going to go back to data and then click on the sort, the primary sort metric and look up average quantity. So now we have these values here and then I'm going to add a secondary sort for unique purchases. So if you look closely, you can see these columns marked with a one and a two. And this one indicates our primary sort metric and the two, of course, represents our secondary sort metric. Now there are only five values here and so I'm going to click on rows per page and select 10 to expand our list. And if we scroll down, okay, here we can see that we have two product categories that have the same value. And as you'll notice, our secondary sort comes into play where this product category, the clearance one, is above the drinkware 
product category because the secondary feature or the secondary sort is going to work here. You can also sort by another metric that's not in the table, but unless you have a note there or unless the end user knows exactly by which metric the table is sorted by, that might not make too much sense. But just to show you that you can do it, I'm just going to type in product list, click, and it'll update the table as you saw there. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. So I'm going to change this back to average quantity. Now let's move on to using the sort function for charts. So I have this stacked bar chart down here and it looks like Data Studio is a bit buggy with the alignment for the axis and, and the legends labels. But anyway, if we look in our data settings, we can see that this table, which shows us the engagement for the top product categories, as we're looking at product detail views and quantity purchased, in the primary sort metric, we can see that we're using product detail views. And it's in descending order. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see this section chart interactions. And here we have this change sorting enabled. So this will allow the end user, the viewer, to change the sort, the metric by which the table will be sorted by if they want to. You can also use sorting feature for pie charts. So let's take a look at this in action. So we'll click on view at the top of the page. And the table here we have our metrics that we sorting by one and two and what you can also do is click on any other metric column to sort by that metric so I clicked on product revenue but when you click on that metric it will only allow you to sort that as a primary sort metric so that's why we have only the product revenue sorted and none of the other metrics and if we go down to our charts here so right now of course the chart is sorted by product detail views but since we enabled the change sorting feature for this chart we can change the table to sort it by quantity purchased so let's click on this sort icon here, the A, Z, with the up down arrows. And let's click on, well, let's take a look at the options we have available. So product detail views, we have the option to change the sort to by ascending instead of descending as it indicates the current status we can also change it to quantity purchase by descending order or we can change it to product category where it will sort by alphabetical order so if we change it to quantity purchased here's what that looks like so the product categories are sorted accordingly but it's a bit difficult to 
discern how it's sorted because quantity purchased is the green metric or the second metric listed in our edit mode. Now we can also change it to sort by product category and as you can see it's sorting the product categories in descending order or reverse alphabetical order. But you can also change it back or change it to alphabetical order or if we go back to quantity purchased we can also change that to ascending order as well but let's go back and change it to product detail views and we can do the same change it to ascending order and that's what the charts look like if you click on the three dots to view the options available for this table you can also sort using this menu and it's the same sort functions as the sort icon that we were just looking at but more importantly you can use this menu to reset the table so that's how you sort your charts and your tables in data studio if you want more insight on Google Analytics, Web Analytics, Data Studio, Analysis and Reporting. Go to the link in the description for the website. And if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next video.